Welcome to the video on lost wax casting. Lost wax casting involves making an exact replica in wax what you'd like to cast in metal. In this video we'll be making a belt buckle that we'll eventually cast in silver. I've started with a piece of hard carving wax. I've transferred a paper pattern onto that that I designed and I will use a Dremel tool to relieve the areas around my design. This particular bu buckle will have a piece of turquoise that I'm going to inset in the middle of the cross in the center of it. When I've got the model done to my satisfaction, I'll begin attaching sprues to the model. The sprues will eventually allow a place for the wax to melt out and the silver to be cast into the finished mold. Here's a picture of the sprues attached to my buckle. Then when the model's done, I will attach it to a rubber base that'll go onto the bottom of a flask. I'll also attach a few other little belt parts to the sprue base before we cast it. When you put the flask around it, make sure that none of the wax is within um, too close to the sides of the flask. You want at least a quarter inch clearance everywhere. Now you see the final belt parts attached to the sprue base. We're mixing the plaster, also known as investment, uh, in these mixing bowls, you're going to want to probably wear a mask so you're not breathing this dust. You'll mix it to the consistency of pancake batter according to the directions on your investment package. Now we place the mixture in a vacuum to get all the little air bubbles out of the mixture. Once you've debubbleized it for about a minute and a half, you will pour the mixture into your flask, encasing your original wax in plaster. Now that the flask has been filled with your investment mixture, you will again put this in the vacuum and run it for another minute and a half. This evacuates all the little teeny bubbles out of the mixture that would otherwise be replaced with little globs of metal. In about 15 minutes, the plaster is set up. We remove the base and also the tape around the top that, that helped keep the uh, plaster from bubbling out while it was being the bubbles were being evacuated. I trim it up and it's ready to put in the kiln now. Once in the kiln, I'll program the furnace to fire up and slowly raise to 1300 degrees over a matter of hours to burn all the wax out of the plaster mold. When you pull the flask out of the furnace, take a look at the bottom and make sure there's no obstructions in the little passageways that are going to lead up into the actual mold. When I place the flask in the centrifuge, I like to use a piece of baling wire to secure the flask so it won't fly out of there when it begins spinning. Don't forget to balance your centrifuge so when it starts spinning it's not wobbling like an out of balance washing machine. Now I'm melting the silver along with a little bit of copper to alloy it to, to a sterling silver content. Uh, make sure that you add a little borax to pick up any, any uh, impurities in it. All it takes is between 20 and 30 seconds of spinning. That silver goes into that flask and sets up very quickly. I'll pull the flask out, let it cool about five minutes, then it's ready to plunge in some water and cool and see what we have. The 
if you pl if you quench it too fast, there's a chance you may crack your casting. If you wait too long, it's going to cool such that you're going to have to dig that casting out of the plaster. Now I trim all the little sprues off the, the main castings and it's ready to clean up and start polishing. I find a little angle grinder with a cutoff wheel very handy for trimming rough, rough sprues and whatnot off these things. Casting silver, the silver will come out a dark gray from oxidation. You need to pickle at this point. Pickling is an acidic wash and a very hot plunge, a very hot water bath. This will take all that oxidation off and bring out a nice clean piece of silver ready to polish. Now you're ready to use whatever you can, files, little pieces of fine emery cloth, buffers, polishers, etc, etc, to make uh, your piece shine to the consistency you want. The last thing that will be done here would be set the stone with a drop of epoxy and do a finished polishing on it. Wax to silver, an old school southwestern style buckle with silver and turquoise.